I'm not in the mood to do any killing for the supposed elite today. You're gonna have to get your own hands dirty, Stubbs. Oh, spare me the lectures. This is important, Jonathan. Important enough for me to come down from my ivory tower and rub elbows with you blue-collar types on the wrong side of the West River. Meet me at your clubhouse. I drink single malt. <laughs> nice place you got here, Johnny. Not quite sure I meet the dress code, but I think I like the smoking policy. What the fuck do you want? Now, is that any way to treat a friend? Are we friends? Well, I think so. You've certainly seen me naked. You want a cigar? Do you want to go fuck yourself? Oh, not particularly. <laughs> but listen, your friend, Ray, don't worry about him. Why not? Apparently, he and a lot of his associates under some serious observation and in the process of imploding. They'll either be dead or inside within a month or so. Best thing you can do, stay away from him. What about Billy Gray? Yes, well, you've got a bit of a problem there, sport. He's been talking inside. Thinks he can help pin a major drug dealing ring on you and your buddy in the chair. Thinks he's going into the witness protection program. And if he calls you, You'll do 15 years, and he'll live in a condo in Arizona. Well, I don't doubt that, Mr. Stubbs, but he's on the inside. Yeah, I know. And there's currently very large walls and armed guards between me and him. <laughs> yeah, well, you're a smart guy. You'll figure something out. If you get into trouble, you call me when you get there. I might have something to help you with. Good. I'll need it. Hey, one more thing, Stubbs. Why are you doing this? I told you, I was good for a favor. You're getting out of here? Oh, haven't you enjoyed your time in the state's care? What a fucking pleasure! Terry, man, we gotta pay our friend Billy a visit. He's been talking. Bring Clay and bring all the fucking firepower you got. Meet me at the Alderney State Correctional. I'm waiting. One last job, guys. Good to see you, Terrence. Johnny, my brother! How's it going, John? Here she is! We ain't paying for this stuff, Terry. It's being used for the club. <laughs> I know I'm weak for him. I couldn't give up my bike, man. 
The outlaw lifestyle? This shit? You, Clay? I'm a multitasker, man. I can handle bikes and bitches. It's you chumps I was worrying about. I want to see you prove it. Come on! Get in position. I'm cracking the door with the grenade launcher. I'm about to introduce a pipe bomb to that gate. I hope you're all ready. Johnny! Johnny boy, you reach too far. 
checkmate, dude. Come on, get it over with. Do it! I'm doing it! <laughs> what? You waiting for a speech or something? Come on! Ah, ah. Johnny. Hey. Hey. We had fun here. <laughs> yeah, we did. But it's over. Yeah, it is. How the fuck did that happen? You know how it happens. It's that fucked up part of people, which means good is never good enough. I mean, it wasn't enough we had to be drug dealers. We also had to be outlaws, to be maniacs, to be psychos, and to be greedy. You know. Well, that combination of greed and fucked up stupidity, that works well. In the government, not so good if you're a fucking crook. Huh. <laughs> Ain't that the truth. Go ahead. Let's put this place out of its misery. Yeah, do what you gotta do. Come on, man, let's get out of here.
I didn't think I'd call you. You hear about Billy? Yeah, I heard. Look, Johnny, look, have you got any money? I need 40 bucks. I need it real bad, baby. Not this time. You can kill yourself on your own. Goodbye, Ash. Johnny? Congressman? I see your problems have been resolved. Is it back to normal at the Lost Motorcycle Club? No, it ain't, Stubbs. You see, we got a set of codes that mean you can't keep on like nothing's happened after brothers turn on brothers and your world turns to shit. I might. The man of principle. Impressive, Clements. You must find Liberty City an awful place to live. Such a shame your values are more suited to medieval times. Yeah, well, I'd prefer to stand up for something than to chop and change and stab a friend in the back to get ahead. That's why I didn't become a politician. So long, sport. Angus, man. Chef the president. I'm president of a burnout house and some broken house brothers. It's dead, man. It's over. What are you gonna do? I don't know. I'll probably keep sending money to Jim's old lady and her kid. I owe him that. We all do. Beyond that, I'll probably try to cut my ties. What about Ashley? Ashley? The ice got her good. I finally cut her loose in my head, man. I don't know what's left for her other than that need to fuck up everything around her. You've been a good friend, Angus. You're a good man, Johnny. Things should have worked out better for you. Well, things should be better for a whole heap of people. It don't work out that way, do it. Adios, amigo.